Hello, everyone. What's in the bag? Let's do this. This is mainly what I use professionally and when I do travel for vacation, I have the Samsung NX1000 and one of the reasons why, again, it's portability. Recently, I saw the Sony A7R2. Uh, there's a lot of question about is it good enough compare it to to something like this. Seen a lot of YouTube comparison about this and this and whatnot. So, I decided to go ahead and get this one and let's see if it's gonna solve my problem to have by like, not having to carry this I do a lot of hiking and traveling in this video right about here when I travel I have to carry this one let's open it up the, the manual this charger and on the side we get this strap charger adapter of course battery that's important no way I got two battery I didn't even know there you go I got two two better we got the cable and that's it that's all it is so we got the Lens. This is the 55 1.8. Do have one Nikon, which is a film that I use during my photography class, and I love that just because that's what I got the cheapest one I got from flea market, or I think it was a um, garage sale, and it works fine. It so happened that I started with Canon, and I like their user friendly thing that I can have different bodies and I don't have to worry about knowing all it, the buttons are. It'll be a really, really interesting to, to learn about this and about how to set up all the buttons and stuff. Is the new Sony A7R2 and this is the new 1DX Mark II and see the difference between the two and this one love different angle and for me is I usually squat so I can get the right angle or if I wanted something on the floor like the one that I took a picture less uh, less hiking the, the falls the creeks right it's so low that I have to squat and I have to look on the LCD making sure that I'm getting the, the, the right angle, the right level. But with this one, I have the tilt screen. So I need to take a picture or video up above. I can just do that. Or I can flip it right here like that. So I can take a picture or video even on the ground. One of the reason that it really encouraged me to go move forward to Sony is because of their portability. It's basically I combine this one and this one and it becomes this one. And I guess that's it. I hope you enjoy this. Bye for now. Unboxing the Sony A7R2. I wonder what is this for? I don't know. Let me know. Comment down below.